Welcome back once again guys and in this video we are going to be doing an in-depth look at a truck that you guys have been seeing on my streams for a while now but I am so happy to be able to finally do a deep detailed dive into Lime's 2017 F450 with you guys and this truck is the PC version however you will be seeing a lot of features on it that will be making their way to the console version which is going to be the 2017 L400 which is going to be a continuation of the L400 series that started with the original L400 a while back now in this video we're going to be going over what the release version is going to look like and how the release version is going to drive and how it is going to perform and also you can expect all of these features to carry over to the console friendly version which will be the 2017 L400 which will be in development after this truck has been released so with that being said let's go ahead and get it into the garage and see what all we can do to it in terms of customization because let's be honest the tires on it are a little small right now has that classic sound that honestly I feel like it, the sound just goes so well with this particular truck so let's go ahead and head straight into the customization and engine wise really simple stock built bulletproof straight to the bulletproof on this one and gearbox wise you got default fast heavy tow and tow so the tow transmission is going to be for your sort of like standard gooseneck trailer hauls the heavy tow is going to be for your like really over the top massively heavy hauls and then the fast one is what we're going to go with this time now the fast one is what i would recommend using if you're going to be just kind of like using this thing for fun or maybe using this thing in the mud uh there's a lot of different options that you can go with and a lot of different combinations you could do but the max engine with the fast transmission is going to be the combination that we're going to use this time around so suspension wise we have stock flex tune which the flex tune i actually really want to see what that does and then you have the lift and then short lift and then tow setup now the short or i should say the tow setup is actually a good bit lower than you might think but i actually want to take it outside the garage real quick and see what the flex tune does because i know we're running like i said before a really small tire right now and it looks super goofy but near the main entrance to the garage we have a flex ramp and the flex oh my god this thing leans so much this flex tune would be for like if you wanted to do some just like hardcore crawling with it oh all right yeah that's a lot that's a lot of flex that is a cartoonish level of flex okay that flexes more than i mean heck half the uh like half the crawlers i drive this thing flexes to an insane degree so let's go with the hmm kind of going back and forth i think we're gonna do the lift and the lift itself isn't all that crazy it's not all that high but uh it does have that active or at least i believe it has the active option the previous version of this truck had the active option so hopefully this version does as well now tires wise or i should say wheels and tires wise you have these boggers on a deep dish fuel wheel you also have the uh, bkt tractor tires on a bead locked deep dish wheel and those go all the way up to like a properly huge tire and then you have these nitto mts on sort of a deep dish uh street wheel style setup and these are actually what we're running right now or actually well this is what we have the option of running and then you have these which these are a little bit more interesting because it says basic off-road tire and they look kind of like a almost like a bfg tread pattern but i'm not 100 sure on those someone down in the comment section below i'm sure can clarify that um these xd wheels i have not seen on this particular truck before and apparently also it has this thing has brembos i didn't realize that he had put brembo brakes on this thing that's actually kind of cool now let's see these guys these guys have been on this truck before but i really do like how he's kind of corrected the offset of these a little bit and they do look really really good now in terms of the dually setups you have these swampers which are made uh made by b gamer and you also have a dually setup on dubs boggers now the dubs boggers setup is gonna look incredible when we take it out of the garage and i'm gonna go ahead and throw those on real quick and now we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we've got the gooseneck hitch in the back because i really just kind of want to make sure that it's there exhaust wise whoa oh my god a giant 45 degree single stack you've got a hood stack 
you've got a single stack, like a, you know, like a single straight stack. You've got the axle dump, and you've got the twin 45 degree stacks, and then the normal twin stacks. We're gonna go with the gigantically oversized 45 degree stack. Why not? I mean, this whole build is kind of cartoonish anyway, but like, in a good way, of course. But, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and run the dually fenders, which are amazing to have, by the way. Rock lights, which can be had in blue, green, pink, and red. And then steps, we're gonna go ahead and throw those on. Grill-wise, we're gonna do, well, we have options of the Fab Fours grill, the weighted Fab Fours grill. Oh my god, it was not meant to go with that suspension type. Stock grill, stock grill weighted. Limes grill which that I'm sure is going to be a main component of the console friendly version, the 2017 L400. And let's see, weighted limes grill and SMG grill. We're going to go with the limes grill because I actually really dig that. And let's see, aftermarket lights, which can be had in white, blue, green, pink, or red. And of course, or you could go back to the stock lights. I'm going to go with the aftermarket lights. And let's see, we could also put the uh, the sled deck on the back. We're not going to do that this time, but whoa! Whoa, you have a bunch of different options with these dually wheels. That's incredible. Even with the dually setup, got those red highlights. Dude, that's wild. That is absolutely nuts. You can even do them in chrome if you wanted to. That does kind of give them a nice accent, though. Kind of dig it. That's completely different from any kind of setup I've run on this truck before. Wow. The ability to have a full-on, like, F450 dually like this with this much lift and tires this huge... It's absolutely nuts. It's so wild. Let's actually go with the... Yes, the black fuel wheels with the red accents. That is so wild looking. Really? It had to be like dreary weather and raining? Hold on. There we go. Let's fire this thing up. Good lord. What? <laughs> Dude, that stack is so cartoonish. It's so... So ridiculously cartoonish, but my god, does it work! Wow! Oh my god, wow! Let me see if I switch over to the tow suspension real quick, and I'm actually going to see if I raise it up. I wonder if I raise it up, will it be able to fit with these tires? Ah, kinda. Now, it does lean a little bit to the back, but that's because, that's because of the fact that this grill, the weighted grill, Let's see. Lime's grill. Lime's grill weighted. Now, it's weighted a little bit to the back normally because it's meant to be balanced out once you put the weighted grill on it. Now, this is with the largest dually tire option in high mode on the suspension. Let's see how it does in terms of towing like that. Oh, wow. Dude, we're going to be able to go... We're going to be able to go wherever we want on any map that we want with this setup. Wow, and what an evolution to the L400 this is going to be. Like, oh, stage 2 fuel tank. Two stage 2 fuel tanks. Why not? That is so ridiculous. Oh, ow. That is so ridiculous. That is so incredibly ridiculous, dude. That is absolutely nuts. Look at that. God. I, I am absolutely over the moon that he's done all of this to this truck. And I remember seeing all of the evolutions of it in the streams, and I'm so glad that he snuck a couple of things in for the video, like, for example, the dually fenders, the extra wheel options, the new tire options. There's so much going on here, and I know that a lot of, well, maybe not a lot, but some of you guys are going to be like, well, why did you spend so much time in the garage? You should have gotten, you know, you should have got, gotten it out and driven it earlier. And I'm like, dude, you don't realize that, like, there's so much to go over with this truck in the garage. We haven't even gone over everything in the garage that it can do yet. And that's the crazy part. Now, of course, I'm going to leave some of that stuff for you guys to discover. But the amount of customization that you have is just so incredibly crazy that you could spend, you could spend like 30 minutes in the garage trying to figure out everything that this thing has to offer. What the heck? It was bogging down really bad there. Like, it was bogging down really, really, really bad. Like, whoa! Really, 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 really bad. Can you make it through there? Yep, there we go. There we go. Come on. What the heck? That's in the deep stuff, even, and it's still going? Are you serious? It's buried past the bumper, and it still wants to pull. In low plus! 
Oh my god, that is way over the level of what I thought it was going to be able to do. Way, way over the level of what I thought it was going to be able to do. And frankly, that's way over the level of what I thought it would be able to do at all. Like, even with the E-brake on, it pushes itself forward. Like, it fights the E-brake. Oh my god. We, we have discovered something here with this truck. We have potentially discovered the probably the most powerful pickup that we've ever seen in this game. I mean, I don't know. I feel like this is the most powerful pickup I've ever seen. And I feel like in terms of what you can do with it, I just... It seems like it's one of those trucks where, like, the sky's the limit. You can do whatever the heck you want. I really don't think that there would be any issue just taking this thing to any map and throwing it at absolutely any obstacle and literally expecting to just come right out on the other side unscathed, no problem. I'll, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the exact, like, the exact reason I think that, and that's because it's going to walk through the... Whoa! It's going to walk through the dips obstacle. Just absolutely walk right through it. You know, I really would rather not eat my words on that one. Come on! Not bad. Yeah, I would definitely recommend being in standard low, though, not low plus. Low plus gets a ridiculous amount of bounce going, and it's something you really don't want. Because when you get that bounce going, if it catches at the wrong time, you're on your side and your cargo is gone. Completely gone. All right, y'all, you know what time it is now. Bridge jump time, let's go! Oh, let's, whoa. Love that Apple CarPlay on the screen in the interior, too. Really nice touch there. Really, really nice touch. Let's get it. There we go, oh, jeez. Not bad, a little bit of damage on the suspension, but if you could, like, not go off the road, that'd be great. I, I... I kind of let it go off the road, though, because I didn't want to turn hard and have it grip up and then flip over. That would have been literally the worst thing that could have possibly happened. I mean, we're right here at the bridge jump. To fail that now would be, like, literally the worst scenario. Oh, God. Straight, straight ahead, please. Oh! Boom! Well, he kept the cargo. At the very least, it kept the cargo. And I'm actually really impressed that it did keep the cargo, really, at the end of the day. That's truly, genuinely impressive that the cargo is still there. But if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this truck in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.